Learning new skills is scary. Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics. So um, I'm having to push myself. Uh, I've really realizing that if I want to do data engineering, I need to learn about, and I know at least three new skills. I need to learn Airflow, I need to learn uh, Snowflake, and right now off the top of my head, the others are eluding me. <laughs> so I want to share what I'm literally going through live. So those things are out there. And I may even do one on procrastination specifically, but just just start. And I know that's so scary. So if you don't even know where to start and you're going back and forth, and I noticed this just uh, Saturday or Sunday, I was going back and forth, going back and forth, going back and forth. And what came to mind is what, um, what I did on my last uh, few months at Walmart. So I basically laid out a roadmap of high level, so Airtable, uh, Astronomer, Airtable, that it's Airtable ne nested in Astronomer, I think. And we're actually going to live stream this tomorrow if I can get everything set up. But just the road mapping of it instead of, because if your brain is like mine, which I have a feeling it is because that's why you're here, um, I found that I was just going circular and circular and circular because I had no structure. So it was scary because I had no structure. A kid is scared. A toddler is scared. Uh, anyone is scared if there is no structure and the big, big world is out there and it's just so overwhelming and scary. So what I did is I laid out the videos that I needed to watch in the order in which I think I need to watch them. And um, I started making notes. So it became less scary, less overwhelming, um, less uh, intimidating. And I've clicked through some of the stuff, but still it's very, because I'm looking, whenever you look at the whole object or the whole list, it's going to be very scary. But if you're only looking at the list or the task and the item in front of you, it becomes less and less scary. So I'm sharing this with you as I'm going through this very live right now. So you're, you're getting to see me work through uh, a very nerve wracking and intimidating situation literally as we speak, because I'm trying to upskill and move over to the data engineering space. And I have the, the skills, I just don't have the technology up skills because if I needed to uh, jump in and run Snowflake and uh, run DAGs on it, some sort of air table, I would have no idea how to do it. So that's what, that's my, those are my gaps right now that I'm intending to fill. So I just thought this would be a great time to share this. So anything new is going to be scary. And if you're, if you keep saying, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that. And you're not actually starting. You're intimidated, you're overwhelmed, whatever bucket you feel like you want to you wanna see. So create, create a roadmap of the things that you need to do. You don't have to do the entire roadmap because it's probably going to be wrong if you do the entire roadmap. So at least have a day or so and you'll get into the groove and you'll start doing it every, every day. Uh, so all right. Um, down below is a link to a Discord server. Uh, that's where you can uh, join and not be alone and get the help that you need and deserve. And uh, please hit that like, subscribe button, notification bell so you don't miss that out, out on any of these videos or the live streams that we have. But as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.